Welcome to Write Ideas with Susan. Now a lot of you have asked me about box letters and if I had a sheet that you could download or something like that with the full alphabet. Well I don't. All I have is some two really old books that I got at a children's workshop. It was put on by uh, Open Air Campaigners, OAC Ministries, and a guy named Wes Vitell introduced me to box letters and it has been a wonderful tool to use with kids and uh, adults as well. So today I thought I'd just do a simple tutorial and do the letters A to Z alongside with you. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to put me on pause and then I'd like you to go grab a piece of paper and a pencil and we'll spend about three to four minutes just learning the alphabet together. Okay, here we go. I just start by drawing some tracks. So follow the lines on your page or put some lines. And we'll start with an A. An A is very simple, just a dot and a line. So the kids always usually say, hey, do you see two letters there? And they first initially just see the I, and then I say, look at the white part. And they're like, oh, an A. <laughs> so we've got A, and a B is just two dots. And then I just do a little triangle there on the side. We've got the B. And a C, you can do a C just with a line like that if you want, but I like to do a little line. Down like that. C and then D is again a dot and then you just color in the edges. How's your D? Good? <laughs> okay, and E is just two lines. Get your E. And I'll do an F here as well. Just like the E. So we go two lines and then of course we just color in the corner. So E F. Okay now let's do I'll do a few more lines here. And a G starts off just like a C. So you go to a line, then a line down like that, and then I do a little tail like that. So there's my G. You have G and then H or H as they say here in Australia. Two lines. H and then we have an I, you just draw the line nice and close like that. And then a J is a line down the middle, and then a line here, and then color in this top area. So J, K starts off just like an H, two lines, and then you just do the triangle on the side. And then an L is a line down, and then a line across and then you color in the side and then an M you have to make the box a little bit wider for an M and then you can just do two lines like this you got your M I like to do a little triangle right there so there's your M okay next tracks L M N so N, again a little bit wider for an N. N is a little bit of a tricky one. So I do a line down and then slant a line like that. Line down and then slant a line like that. There's different ways of doing an N, but that's how I do an N. L and N and then O is simple. Just a dot. P is a dot and then you color in the corner like you do with the F. Now Q is different. I've never actually used a Q in a lesson. I never use Q. But anyway, it's just an O and then you can add a little tail off the grid. So there's a Q, element O, P, Q, and then we've got R. And it starts like an A and then you do a little triangle. And now S is also a bit tricky. It's just two slanted lines like that, or S. So how's everybody going? Okay, now on to a T. So let's do our tracks. Got a T, and T is just a box and color in the sides. So we have a T. Q R S T, and then a U is really simple, just one line down the middle. You've got a U, and the V is just very similar down the middle and then just color in the edges. So you got Q 
P-R-S-T-U-V. Now W has to be a bit wider, just like the M, but you do the lines from the top, and I like to put a little triangle. And then an X, some people do an X just like this, but I like to do a little triangle um, just to make it look a little bit more like an X, and the kids seem to enjoy that as well. X, and then a Y down the middle, and then I just color in the edges like this. Here's my Y, and then a Z or a Z. Okay, um, a Z is really the opposite to the S. There's a couple of ways you can do it, but I like to do it um, slanted, slanting the lines down like this. But some people also do it just straight across like that, and sometimes they do the S that way as well. So there you have the whole alphabet in box letters. So how did you go with box letters? Does yours look pretty good? Well, it does take a little practice, and after a while it just becomes very easy if you use it quite a bit, and the kids really enjoy it. If you like this little tutorial, can you give it a thumbs up and let me know? And if you'd like more, um, Tutorials on box letters. I've actually started a playlist, so go have a look at that if you'd like more information on that. If you'd like me to do more videos on it too, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you found this little tutorial helpful.